Right, so um, <clears throat> we are, uh, we're off grid and we're on biogas in our RV and uh, we get the biogas from our big biodigester bio via this garden hose and then it comes through a valve and it's going now into a, oh wait a minute, let me cut this root here that's in the way, alright, so it's going into this moisture collection jar, uh, so you can't really see, there's a pipe going down to the bottom and then a pipe coming out the top, and that is down at the condensation level so that the, uh, the moisture can drip into the jar, which will temp uh, periodically have to be replaced. And then it then goes through a modified uh, sulfur filter, and the aluminum foil is just there to hold the steel wool. You can't really see it that well, but there's steel wool in here that the pipes go through, and the aluminum foil just holds it in place. Um, and then any moisture would collect down at the bottom. So again, it's identical really to the moisture trap and probably you could use a moisture trap as a, uh, a sulfur trap, but we're doing both. So most of the moisture will come out here. If there's additional moisture, uh, it'll oxidize the, or sorry, not oxidize, reduce the steel wool that's inside that aluminum foil packaging there that holds it in place and then goes up into the RV and uh, and then goes to our stove, and then there's another one that comes out that goes to other things like our, our water heater, our gas water heater for heating the water in the house. But that's the, the basic ideas come from your biodigester. We also have a gas holder here that uh, isn't filling very much, coming from the black biodigester, the IBC Solar Cities tank over there, but uh, that's coming through this line here. And uh, it's not performing as well as the big Pusheen, so we get most of our gas from the big Pusheen that comes through this 300-foot uh, garden hose. And then, as I said, into the water trap here. And then from the water trap into the sulfur filter, which, as I mentioned, is steel wool uh, inside aluminum, just wrapping it to hold it in place. And then out and up into the RV. So happy trails, hope that that helps you. We've corroded pumps by not removing all of the moisture and the sulfur. And uh, so if you want to lengthen your pump length for your, uh, the length of life of your pump, then do remove the moisture and uh, the sulfur as best you can. All right, have a great one.